All right, looks like a 2008 National RV Tropical. I'm gonna attempt, attempt to take this thing out. I hear it's pretty heavy. Well, I just have to see how it goes. From what I read online, oh, my shock's not too well. There's a lot more repairing that needs to be done in this thing, but there's four screws on the side, plus I believe four or five inside. So I'm gonna start by removing the little caps. Four of them, one's already missing. This is a little bit older vehicle, but. And uh, let's see. Two more over here. There. That's good. She's a little flathead to get those out. <coughs> let's see. I'm going to try to make this easy on myself and uh, use a screw gun. It doesn't work to use a screwdriver. Video also helped me how to put it. Help me how to put it back together. All right. This is the bolt. This is another bolt. This guy I know comes out. That's how I. This pops right out. Now, looks like uh, one, two, three. I'm doing the bracket bolts. I'm not too sure what size it is. Uh, oh, 916, so I was right. Actually, it looked more like a 916, so I got it. <laughs> Alright. online it might be a good idea anytime you take a bolt out is to replace it with a screwdriver because eventually when this thing drops down you don't want it to drop down right away We've got a 916 inch wrench 916 inch wrench now I'm gonna Get back in here and I'm zoomed in a little bit. I hope oh, okay. My helper back there is in the Quiet helper. So I'm gonna get in here. Basically continue to unscrew the last. I've got two on each side. I don't know if you want to watch me do it all, but 
you know, I'm just going to show you just a little bit. I don't know it's going to take too long because I'm really just doing a little bit of turn at a time. But I'm going to do that for this side. This side. See, just a standard wrench will do it. 9 sixteenths. And let me try to get these out. And then I'll, I'll come back. So, I'm pretty patient, so what I did is I unscrewed the two screws on each side. That screws with bolts. And basically you're going to get in there, I'm patient, quarter to turn, quarter to turn, quarter to turn. Some people may get a hole drill, drill a hole, clear it out, ratchet it out, and be done in five minutes. Other people will probably take off the whole undercarriage, drop it a bit, so you have access to the bolts and do it. I just, I'm trying my own way, so. That's it, so now I've got this here. So I'm gonna take off this screen. I did take two screws off, and I now I remembered I gotta put you back on. So this is gonna help, I think this is what's holding the TV from sliding forward. So, there are four of these, I took two out already. Just little sheet metal screws. And voila. Like I said, I took two earlier. Here's two more. No problems, real easy. Put that aside. Okay, now there's, there's a bolt in the back of each. So obviously, there's two screws. In, in this rig, there's two screws. One here, one here. That's going for an upper metal plate into the TV, holding it up, like set screws. So I guess they probably screwed in the TV and then bolted them in. I don't know what they did, to be honest with you. I know from taking out these two screws and putting in a couple of screwdrivers in there to act as bolts, if I take these screws out, I bet you the thing's gonna wanna drop. So, let's see. So, uh, this may make funniest videos, I don't know, but let's see. So. Let me try this side. Okay. Oh, you know what you gotta do? It helps. There's a little bit of molding. Pull it out. It'll be easy to snap back in. Because the screws, they obviously put the screws in first. Now let's see, I'm gonna have something at the end or what, but uh, you get to a certain point and they stick, so. I don't know, I can just use a needle nose. See if that'll help me finish the job off. Pop it out. And it did. It's a needle nose. You may want to, it's a needle nose. All right, I'm going to go back over here. Since I figured out I need needle nose, Cut it out. So now it looks like it's free, but it looks like it's ready. So I think I'm ready. I'm not going to do this myself. I'm going to shut it down because I heard these things are like 95 pounds. As much as I want to do it right now, I'm going to have to cut, ask a friend to come over, probably pull these out. The back screw will tilt the tilt the rack down or the floor down. It should slide right out. I'll be back. My original plan was gonna have some people help me. Everybody is out of town or neighbors I have around here. So I'm gonna try it myself. And uh, just in case as a precaution, take the cushion off of the breakfast area. I'll just lay it on here, just in case, just in case. Again, the America's Funniest Videos kicks in, and then we'll have some. But, uh, so what I've done, what I, I don't remember, I know it was only a day, but I think all I need to do is take off this piece, 
what I did is I put it back on last night because I didn't want it to fall out. So let's let's remove this. And this I think holds the TV from sliding out, which now we want it to. And uh, I got the screwdrivers in holding it up. I remember I took out the screws on the TV on the top of the TV. I mean the screws out that were holding it screwed into the TV. As you can see, it's loose now. Oh yeah, real loose. So it's ready to go. So let's just keep going. I'm gonna take out, I've got a screwdriver in the second hole. Take one out of the first hole. I got one in the second one back here too. Ooh, it came out, let's put it back in. Okay, it's in there. I mean, I may not even need to. I might be able to just get that. Let's pop this here. I still got two screwdrivers in, but it looks like it's going to clear. Now, let me, uh, I don't think I'm blocking the view. I mean, I probably am, but it's the only thing I can do. But as you can see, it's loose. Unless there's some stupid strap in the back I don't know about. <laughs> Let's go for it. I'll slowly slide it out. And if it is 90 pounds, it's going to be a, a beast. Oh yeah, there it goes. A little more. Slide it next level. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you, while I'm holding this, when I came in, I disconnected the power cord. And I ran the power cord back through, so it's sitting back there. So that's, you know, you don't want to forget that, otherwise you pull it, it rips everything out, so. Okay. Alright, well. Alright, everything still go. It is heavy. It is a beast. And it is out. Although, I don't think it is 90 pounds. It's heavy, but it's not 90 pounds. Look, it's out. And that's it. Let me just lay it down on the captain's chair here. All right, now I've got a big hole. I gotta figure out, I'm gonna fix this and get a TV in there and clean up some wires and get rid of some wires. And maybe fish some new wires. And that's how you get the TV out.